Now, my dear friends, we are going to consider another concept and that is called as about refining process. When I talk about refining process, my dear friends, please remember that we are towards the end of this extraction process. Now, what does this mean, refining? In simple English term, refining is purification. Purify a substance. And you guys know very well, we always purify the impure. So whatever process that I've explained you so far, I explained you the extraction by considering the metals under three categories with respect to the reactivity series. We started with down the series, then middle of the series, and then top of the series. Yes, and now, whatever way we carry out the analysis and whatever way we get the final metal, that metal is not still pure. Okay, its purity level is going to be around 90 to 95 percent, which indicates that around 5 to 10 percent impurities are still present in there. I call those as crude metals. So we need to remove those 5 to 10 percent of impurities. And that particular process is what I've written over here. It's called as refining. My dear friends, one more thing which I want you to understand, and that is on a practical terms, that we can never ever get 100% pure metal, not possible. Okay, a small amount of the impurity is still going to remain as it is. So the maximum level of purity that we can get will be in terms of five nines. Okay, that is 99.999. Okay, even if you talk about gold, you must be knowing it, the most purest form of gold is 24 karat. And that 24 karat gold also comprises of this, what I told you, 99.999. So in this refining process, it depends upon the methodology. It depends upon the nature of the metal which is to be refined. We need to take the purity of the metal to that particular level. Or sometimes somewhere around say 99.995 or something like that, that we aim for. So one of this best method now, okay, in our endeavor, in our perspective to achieve that 99.995 and 999, one of the best method and that is going to be called as electrolysis. Okay, so we carry out an electro refining method. What is it? We carry out an electro refining method. Now, when you talk about an electro refining method, how you actually carry out is it's very simple. I explain you the setup first of all. The setup is like we have an electrolytic tank. We are going to fill up this with a electrolyte, which is nothing but the salt of the metal, which is to be deposited. Uh, we have two electrodes. Like this. We connect it to the source of current. This way, negative, positive. The negative electrode, we call it as cathode. The positive one we call it as anode. Alright, so the requirements that we have, it's almost done now. The requirements I mean, electrolyte, cathode, anode and the source of current. Now what we do is, the impure metal, impure means which I was talking about, which is 90 to 95% pure or I call it as crude metal. So that impure metal, is going to behave as an anode. The pure metal is going to behave as a cathode. And the salt of the metal is going to behave as an electrolyte. Now what remains is, we need to start with the process. It's very simple now, to start with the process, you need to start the source of current. So on passage of electricity, what is going to happen is, I'll tell you, very simple it is, only, capitals may underline the car now, only the metal from the anode. If you remember, anode contains an impure metal. That means uh, along with metal, there is an impurity also. Like in kya likha hai? only, matlab, sirf or sirf metal. Okay, anode se, wo electrolyte mein dissolve ho jayega. 
it will dissolve in the electrolyte. Means whatever pure metal that is being there, that goes into this. It gets dissolved in the electrolyte. And then what happens is, equivalent amount of which gets deposited at the cathode. Jitna bhi dissolve hua hai electrolyte mein exactly utna hi amount cathode mein jaakar wo deposit ho jayega. So that means it goes like this and it gets deposited. Now the question my dear friends which must be going on through your mind is then what is about the impurity which is going to take place? Okay, it's also going to be present with the method. Now that depends upon what is the nature of that impurity. Okay, now I'll try to make it much more clearer. See this. When I talk about impurity, there are two possibilities. One is it's reactive. R I write it down in short. Other possibilities it is inert or stable. Now if it is reactive, then what will happen is it is going to dissolve in the electrolyte. Now, hang on. Now, you will feel that here also the metal dissolves in the electrolyte, the impurity also dissolves in the electrolyte. Then what is the difference? Still, the metal and the impurity are together. No, it's not like that. The difference now is, my dear friends, okay, when the reactive impurity dissolves in the electrolyte, it forms a stable compound. And when it forms a stable compound, it has no energy. And when it has no energy, it will remain in the electrolyte only. Is the metal going to remain in the electrolyte? No. It's going to get dissolved in the electrolyte, but then equivalent amount of that is going to deposit at cathode. You understand the difference now? And if it is inert, okay, it's non-reactive, it doesn't have energy, and when it doesn't have energy, it cannot move around from here and there. Okay, where it was present, where's the impurity present? At the anode. So here, this impurity will also remain at the anode. And I call this as anode mud. Now, what does this mud comes out for? Don't take a literal meaning, my dear friends. Your mud is symbolic. Okay, mud means anything which is in a solid state and which is unwanted. Okay, that is what it means over here. So, that unwanted impurity, which will be in a solid state, will remain at the anode. Okay, that is inert one. If the impurity is reactive, it will remain in the electrolyte. So, if you can understand this entire part, what happens is, as we go from the anode and we go towards reach the cathode, the only species which is going to reach there up to the cathode is nothing but a metal. The impurity either goes towards the electrolyte or it remains at the anode itself. Okay, so that's the reason I made this very clear. I've written in bold letters. I'd underline this. This means it is only metal. और जब मैं बोलता हूं दोस्तों सिर्फ और सिर्फ मेटल है तो दूसरे शब्दों में हम उसको क्या बोलेंगे वो शुद्ध मेटल है और उसका प्योरिटी का जो लेवल है वो तकरीबन जाता है निन्यानवे दशमलव नौ नौ पांच प्रतिशत ओके दिस इज व्हाट द प्योरिटी लेवल दैट वी गेट नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव परसेंट आई होप यू आर Bye.